darkness, Griffey. Didn't see you behind the chair. So I don't think you're actually there. I looked out the window, I think I would have saw you there. So yeah, I think you're moving to the chair right when I sit down. You might be able to see me through the blinds. So I have the last of your smelly fish tonight. So <clears throat> I think there's a little bit extra because I didn't divvy it up quite evenly. So, ready for dinner? Yeah. Okay, you're a little bit more meowy than the past few nights. So I'll come out. Okay, so cut your smelly fish. So I'm gonna walk past you. And let's get the food on the table. Yeah. Can't wait for your smelly fish. Okay, cut the glove. I'll sit down. I'm a little jumpy tonight, so I'm gonna just have to be cautious again. So Scruffy's been scratching me a lot this past week. And yeah, when he turns around like that, that's a prime spot where he's been scratching me. So I'm going a little cautious. So last night, yeah, I was more cautious and uh, we did manage to go the night without a scratch. So I'd like to repeat that tonight. This uh, screaming still seems kind of bad. Hey. Scratched me. I felt the claw. Okay. Come over and I'll pet you one more time. And so. I don't know how to disappoint him for scratching me, so I think he may be waiting. He's the best option, but I don't know. I could yell or hiss at him also. I also thought I could just go back inside, take the food with me. Or I also thought maybe I could try grabbing his foot and probably just make him madder. So I was petting him very lightly. So I don't know why he scratched. I think when he scratched me, I wasn't even touching him. So I'll have to review that one. So I think he was turning around again. Could be mistaken, I wasn't. <clears throat> that one I wasn't expecting too much, so maybe it wasn't turning around. So I thought he was going to be good tonight, since he was good last night. And I was being cautious again. But that didn't seem to help.
So the weather seemed like it was about the same, but actually, say very early afternoon, the sun sun intensity actually was pretty good, and it did manage to actually heat up the ambient temperature a little bit. So it actually did get warmer, but only for a short time. So it actually cooled down pretty quickly in the mid-afternoon. So that increase in temperature didn't last that long. But it was closer to the temperature increase that they've been forecasting. Still not quite as uh, warm as it's supposed to get, but it was, it was getting into that range at least. And the forecast still says it's going to get warmer for the next week. But they've been saying that for the last week. Hey, 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 no. So he missed. Down. Okay, so it's coming over. So yeah, I was being gentle. So I don't know what triggered that one. So at least he missed that time. So I tried to go out for a walk when it was uh, warm, but yeah, by the time I left it, it was already cooling down, so it's a little, a little disappointing. I think if I had known it was uh, going to cool down, I might have taken today as a recovery day or a rest day. I haven't done pull-ups in a few days, so I need to do that. And yeah, my leg, I think, is probably about the same. I haven't had a chance to do uh, the stretching exercises today. <clears throat> so I'll have to do that after dinner. I mean, this prep is kind of calm today, but I'm actually about, a, I think, 55 minutes early. So, pretty much the same as last night. So maybe if I wait it longer, he'd be hungrier or nicer, but it's getting dark so soon now. I think I need to come out here earlier, and then we've had those days where he's just gone. So I'm not sure if it's because he's leaving earlier because it's getting darker earlier and he's just giving up or yeah he just decided just to wander off and didn't make it back in his normal time so i keep reading cats have a really good internal clock so they know exactly when to come back the next day or whatever it is but uh i don't know if their clock is based on 24 hours or the cycle of the sun since yeah we keep losing more and more daylight i'm wondering yeah if he's relative to the sun which is why he's maybe uh, shifting everything earlier okay. 
Okay, I think he's getting hungry. What's your food? You want to meow for me again? So I didn't like appreciate you uh, scratching me, so I'm gonna make you make up for that by petting you longer. He's looking at the food, I think. Can you smell it? Can you smell the smelly fish? Yeah. Okay, let's get your food. Okay, here comes the food. Actually, his fur doesn't seem quite as bad today. No, it's still not great. <clears throat> so, let's see. Yeah, I came out, came out at lunchtime to bring out his water. And, uh, I didn't see him uh, before I came out. And so, when I came out, yeah, he... <clears throat> I think popped his head around the corner again, so... So at first I held with my ground, but yeah, then I started taking a few steps back and then he started getting a little closer. And then, uh, I didn't go all the way inside, but I ended up staying right next to the door. And so he eventually uh, came up to the water bowl and took a very long drink of water. And uh, I didn't go in, I was kind of curious. If, what he would do if I just stood there, let him drink his water. But would he uh, leave afterwards, or would he come closer, or what? So he took a very long, long drink. So he, he spent more time drinking the water than uh, maybe eating his food. So yeah, I guess I'll put him side by side and see what happens. Uh, But yeah, spoiler is, yeah, he left. So he finished drinking his water, and then, yeah, he went out. Left the deck, I think. Actually, no, I think he stayed on it, but yeah, he headed towards the step on the far side. And then stopped short of it, and he could start grooming himself in the sun. And he went back inside. So, yeah, I didn't see much at the park today. Yeah, there were some people there, so... Not as busy as I, th as I thought it would be. But, yeah, I guess... So I thought, you know, even though I, I just missed the, you know, the nice heat. Or the nice warmth, I wouldn't call it, you know, it wasn't hot. So you'd think people would be out there to enjoy the day, day so... And they wouldn't all immediately leave as it, you know, started cooling down. It didn't, you know, it wasn't, it didn't cool down that much. So it wasn't that warm to begin with. But. but yeah, all things considered, yeah, it kind of makes it fit more people. But, yeah. Not sure if that's telling me something. Oh, so I talked about the 
the gray cat with the black stripes that hangs out in front of the house that, where the woman feeds him. And so, a few times I've seen a, a cat, also black and gray, and I wasn't sure if it was the same cat. It was a few houses down. Because of the coloring and the proximity, I thought it could be the same cat, but at the same time, uh, this one sat always sits in a different position, so it sits upright, and I can see its chest, and I can see its chest is a white. Whereas the one that hangs out in front of the house, usually it's laying down, and I don't see its chest. It's always in a different position than that. And then also this other one is wearing a collar, and as far as I know, the one that hangs out in front of the house doesn't have a collar. But, yeah, I never get a really good glimpse since it's never uh, sitting in quite that uh, position. So anyway, today I saw both of them. So I passed uh, the one in front of the house, and uh, it was right on the doorstep, and I think it was... It, it might have had food in the food bowl, so I might have uh, caught it um, around dinner time, even though it's kind of early today, so I don't know. It could just be a coincidence. Maybe it's just sniffing the bowl. Um, and then, yeah, a few houses down, then I saw the other one. And, yeah, it was sitting upright, and I saw the collar, and it was looking at me. It's pretty friendly-ish. I wasn't I wasn't afraid of me or anything. I actually it was sitting it was actually sitting on the curb. And I walked right past it. And it didn't seem to mind me. Probably should have tried to pet it, but you know, whatever. And I didn't see uh, any of the twin black cats today. So, don't know if you got. So, yesterday I was watching uh, one of them for about 10 minutes trying to get a squirrel. Uh, it didn't work out. Or at least, yeah, he didn't get the squirrel when I was there. Too bad. Scruffy's seeming a little slower tonight, though I think it could be because there's a little more smelly fish in the bowl tonight. Yeah, it doesn't look like it divvied it up quite evenly. So there's a little more finishing up the can. At least I think that's the reason. It's possible I miscounted and given them two portions. So one thing I don't things I don't like about the meaty pâtés is, uh, or sorry, not the meaty, but the it's one of the things I like about the meaty pâtés. Things I don't like about the hearty cuts are they when I cut them up in the bowl to try to divide it up, they're very liquid, so they flow and they don't hold their shape. So it's hard to measure. Oh, you need to stick around. So I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.